Just preparing this for use against higher level opponents. Do you know when the next SoCal uh, PR comes out? Uh, it's at the end of September. It's the third quarter, so... The win in this set will be a good mark on the resume for either one of these guys, but nevertheless, Nico is going to start this off with a bit of damage. 63% aided by Buster, and look at how much he's already putting on. The Smash Art is coming out. Up Smash would have killed at Squirtle's low, low weight. Surprisingly, Shine hasn't switched to Ivy yet. He is There's going to make the switch, switch now. Although counters the Nair. Uses that vision to just aid him back. Look at it. He's facing backwards. Caught him at the ledge with the first hit of air slash. And Unfortunate. What was even going on there? Shine was shaking his head. Was utterly unprepared for that air dodge into the rapid jab too. Charizard's big body is just going to be such a target for Shulk's enormous hitboxes. What he lacks in frame data, he makes up for in range. And look at this, already going off stage with the fair and the smash art. Although he's able to use that flare blitz to make it under, and it did expire before, but runs off stage with the fair. And even at Charizard's weight, that's going to be the second stock gone. Nico is just steamrolling through Shine at the moment. Withdraws back. Switches to Ivysaur, perhaps to aid him in his recovery. Although that would have been a re-grab. Nico only able to get a soft hit there. Up to it, we'll put him towards that. And that fair almost at center stage, but uses the invincibility on the Pokemon switch and gets the down air to pop him up. Up smash for the shield, no, and that'll be an easy back air, or back throw from Nico. Gets the trump and with the jump art, that'll be... Oh no, but he covers himself with the Flare Blitz, although he just drops too low. Nico good with the three stop. Yeah, good Flare Blitz to meet him in the first place, but the end lag is just so costly. And in that since instance, wouldn't have sent him off stage and is just going to pop Shine too low to use the up special. When you're out of a jump, Charizard did have a second jump, but since the character has multiple jumps, both of them are going to be reduced. I feel like that bottom blast zone on PS2 is kind of kind of close. Don't mess with the Nico. Good parry, but grabs the wrong direction and that air slash out of shield. Not gonna connect with anything there. Or throw off the grab. Buster Art coming out, so Nico wants this damage early. Knows that perhaps Squirtle's low weight. And fall speed is just going to be what he needs for some combos. Although the Smash are coming out at 68%. Up Smash and F Smash, neither one is going to meet its target. Couple of tilts into the grab. And a Nair? No. Wasn't able to see what that aerial was just through the cloud of smoke, but... Nevertheless, Tether's back on stage. Charizard comes out this time. You can tell he wants the kill. Although with a Smash Art, even a simple up tilt is going to be enough to do it 110% after the hit against a heavy character such as Charizard. But that is the power of the Monado. Those arts come into effect. Although gets the jab lock into the F Smash. Pushing him closer to the ledge during the jab lock to secure the kill. Down throw. Can he get something started here? to go with the offstage down, down air and the F-Smash not going to meet him either. Switches to Ivysaur, so perhaps looking for a bit more damage and goes with the down air offstage. Nico showing zero remorse, zero regard for human life and Shine already in more trouble than he was. Although the up special out of shield, and with Nico in Smash Art, that's going to carry him off the top. <laughs> Back 
throw with the jump art active. Shine looking to end it all with a Charizard Bear, knowing how strong that move is. B reverse into the flame breath. Effort to get him off stage. Down. No. Oh, and off of the ledge, he caught that as that flare blitz just smashed into the stage. Nico was ready and threw out the down air as just an easy punish. The second down air spike of the set. And Nico with a bit of a plum and a bit of a wave of the cap there. Nothing Shine can do but just sit there and watch as he went tumbling down towards that bottom blast zone. What a high octane game too we were treated to there and wasting no time going right into this game three wants to keep this momentum going. It's gonna be town and city as the venue. I believe that the Squirtle matchup is probably the best against Schultz. I, I feel as if Ivysaur's options are just getting nullified mm -hmm. by Schultz's range. I mean, when you lack the range on all three Pokemon against a character like Schult, might as well go for the one with perhaps the greatest combo potential, and that is most certainly Squirtle. And the quickest speed being able to get in as he does. Jump bar comes out. Although he just went too high, that first hit of Air Slash only popped him up so far and doesn't even try to go for the second one. Air Dodge is back to regain stage control and didn't commit with an aerial, so he's been able to throw out a second up tilt onto that body of Charizard. Smash Art coming out. Nico patiently waiting there. And Smash gonna commit and whiff into nothing. And he read with the, the jump with the up smash. Oh, Nico throws out a second and third up smash for good measure. This Pokemon trainer is just seconds away from blacking out here. Gonna have to call in Nurse Joy after the beating that Nico is putting on him. <laughs> he said, thanks, I hope to see you again. At this rate though, with that up smash out of shield, it looks like he will be seeing him again. Shine already down to that final stock and Nico looking so clean. Is that going to be an F throw? It is. Finally takes the first stock. Oh, there still has to elapse two more. Shine has gotten all of his stocks off of Nico with Charizard and Squirtle. Backer going to put him off stage. Wanted to go for the dare to just even it out, but Nico was aware of that. Just uses the recovery early there. Down tilt? No. The reverse hitbox of Nair going to be the ticket he needs. Another down tilt. Two in a row will lift and spot dodges around the third, so Shine perhaps wising up to a few of Nico's timings now. Down throw will pile on the damage too. Shine is using Charizard's multiple jumps to try and bait out Nico's punish. We're turning back here though, and all of a sudden this isn't looking impossible for Shine. There may just be breathing. There may be signs of life within him yet. Is he going to have to burn had to Flare Blitz to make it back, but he's going to do so safely. That Smash Art with the up air almost doing it. That tilt, if it connected, would have done it and just a bit too early. And he went too low. And Shine just laughing it off there saying, I hate you. Because he just <laughs> made an unforced error when he was, he was bringing it back there. But too little too late and it's going to be Nico moving on to get his rematch against Valadin. Shine settling for a noble fourth place especially when there are such great players that fell before this point in the bracket. We saw Key not even make top eight so just shows how stacked today's field was.